Are you struggling with your golf game? Are you slicing that ball? Are you drawing it? Are you spending more time in the woods than you are in the short grass? Do you feel like you're hunting rather than playing a round of golf? It's probably not a good thing. The new TaylorMade R11S can solve all those problems just for you. You got the adjustable plate in the bottom that's going to change that club from a neutral to a close, from a neutral to an open. You got the adjustable weights in the toe and in the heel to prevent that club head from closing down too quickly or opening up too quickly. And you got the loft adjustment to promote a more angled loft of impact and a more less loft of impact to promote a higher flight and, or a lower flight. Compared to older models with the 2009 TaylorMade driver here, you can't adjust the loft, you can't adjust the, the angle of the club head, you can't adjust any weights. What you, what you pay for is what you get and there's no, there's no flexibility at all. But with the new TaylorMade R11S, you get all that and much more. So basically what we got going on here is the club head itself, okay, and this is an adjustment and under it there's all these little slots that depending on what you want the club head to look like um, at address, whether you want it to be square or open or closed, depending on what you want, these little slots line up with these little teeth right here. So when you buy it, it comes in just a square club head. And to put all these pieces together, you get this little wrench that's basically kind of like a like a torque wrench. Basically, it does the same thing. It doesn't let you tighten it too much, but make sure that you tighten it just enough. It uh, locks down. And then you get these two weights. One's a one gram weight, one's a ten gram weight. And uh, when you buy it, the one gram weight comes in the toe, the toe of the club, up front. Long process. And the 10 gram weight comes in the heel. And the idea of that is, is if you have more weight in the heel, it's going to make the toe of the club um, close down quicker than the heel would. And if you have more weight in the toe, it's going to make the toe of the club not close down. So however you hit the ball, you'll adjust the club accordingly. And then you got the club shaft here and it has a higher loft, a regular loft and a low loft. And each one of these, there's a little slot again, kind of like the weight. And depending on how your flight is, if it's high, you're going to want it on a lower. If it's low, you're going to want it on a higher. But this comes in just the standard loft position. And that just drops in. And then again, you use the little wrench tool, tighten her down. And your club's good to go, right off the shelf. Hey, we're here trying out the new R11S from TaylorMade. And uh, this club lets you do basically anything. If you're having a big slice, you can close it down so you hit the ball more straight. If you're hitting it too high, you can you can drop the loft so you hit it on a flatter plane. And so me in particular, I'm having a problem with a slice lately. As you can see, we're gonna hit one here just to kind of show you my problem. That's going way out to the right. Well. out there. I was aimed at the 200 mark. And it went yep. All right, so because we sliced that ball pretty bad last time, what we we're going to do is take the club from look from down top. Take the club from being square at impact and kind of close it down. Because the whole idea with a slice is that your club head is going to be a little open at impact. So if you square it down, the idea is when you come to impact, it's going to be square, hopefully. So in order to do that, you simply just take the weight on the bottom, and the weight that has all those notches on the bottom, remember, and take it from the end position, 
which is a little neutral and we're going to close it as far down as we can which is going to be an extreme closed position or on the club weight C plus. It's not a very good grade but it's alright. I can do it. Again, use the torque wrench. Three clicks usually does it. And you're ready to hit it again. Okay. So, because I was having a slice, generally when you slice the ball, your club head's a little open at impact, which means it's hitting the ball with the club head just a little bit open like this. So what I did was change it to the extreme closed, which basically takes the club head from a square angle and kind of closes it with the idea that when you hit it at impact it's going to be square rather than being wide open. So let's go ahead and find out if this works. Had a little draw to it so it went a little bit the other way and it came out pretty high and that's generally because uh, when you close it down, it adds a little bit of loft too. All right, so that next shot went a little to the left. We eliminated the slice, but this time we were drawing the ball to the left a little too much, and it came out a little high. So what we're going to do is just open the face a little bit, but still have it be slightly closed. We're just not going to have it be as extreme as, as we had it. So we're just going to put it, rather than having it be on the closed plus, we're just going to put it on the regular closed position. It's just, just going to close it slightly. And then it came out kind of high, so we're going to take it from the regular loft and just lower it down to a low loft. And ideally, that should make the ball come out a little straighter and a little lower. Lower loft. Good. And you ready to go? So what we did, because that ball came out left, and uh, came out kind of high as we closed it down just a little less and we took the loft and moved it from the high slot which promotes a higher flight and moved it to a lower slot so hopefully it comes out lower and goes straighter this time Good. Still coming out a little to the left, not much though. So that ball still came out just a little, a little left. So what we're just going to try to try here is uh, we're going to move those weights around that we had. Remember we had a one in the toe, one gram weight in the toe, and a ten gram weight in the heel. So. If we take that 10 gram weight and that 1 gram weight and just flip them around, ideally it should prevent that toe from closing down and eliminate the uh, draw pattern that you get when the toe closes down too quickly. Should be good to go. 
and after all the adjustments we're in the end so it's not open or not closed it's neutral we got a one gram in the heel and a 10 gram in the toe that's going to prevent that toe from closing down too much and uh, we got pretty low flight here so hopefully after all that it should fly pretty low pretty straight let's find out Boy, that was the best one all day. Did you nail it? Yeah.